Dialogue A. Today we are going to talk about how to draw a portrait. You know lots of artists who painted portraits, don't you? Yes, we do. I know some of them also painted self-portraits, but I'm not sure what it means. It means that the artist created the portrait of himself. We'll talk about that type of portrait later. Are we going to draw self-portraits too? Yes, we are, but much later on. Otherwise, I'm afraid they'll look like self-caricatures. Dialogue B. Oh, Tony, here you are at last. Hi, Jack. Sorry for keeping you waiting. The flight was delayed thirty minutes, and then it took me some time to find my suitcase in baggage reclaim. Let me help you with it. Oh, it's heavy. And what's in the package? Careful! It's the picture I bought in Rome. The artist is unknown, but it looks valuable, and the colours are very nice. If it were really valuable, they wouldn't have let you through customs. Anyway, let's go. The taxi's waiting. Dialogue C. I really think we should change something here. Our flat looks too traditional, too boring. It's very old-fashioned. Okay, okay. Don't get so excited about it. What would you like to change? Everything. We can start with my room. If we paint the walls yellow, it'll look nicer. And we need to buy new furniture. But I like the furniture there. I don't mind painting the walls, but let's leave the furniture as it is. Dialogue D. Can I help you? Yes, please. I want to buy a present for my nephew. He's turning eight next Saturday. Well, we have a wide choice of educational toys. What's he keen on? He likes to play active games, and he likes to draw. Have a look at this kid's painting set. Then it has several coloring books, watercolors, brushes, and pencils. It's a great present, and it's not very expensive either. Speaker A. I'm the only child in the family, and I've always envied my friends who have brothers and sisters. I really think that it's great when children can play together and support each other. It teaches them how to take care of other people, how to be kind and helpful. Brothers and sisters usually support each other when they become adults. I think it's very comforting to feel that support. Speaker B. One of my earliest childhood memories is about a steel set of medical instruments. Our grandmother told us that it had belonged to her father, who had got it from his teacher, a famous doctor. During the war, my great granddad was wounded and taken to hospital. Still weak, he helped the doctor during the operations, as there were no nurses. Now the set of medical tools is kept in my house. Speaker C. I grew up in a large family. Now my brother and my sisters are adults, and we all have families of our own. However, every year they come to our house for our mother's birthday. It's always been a very important event for us. When we were kids, we designed different creative presents for her and prepared different performances. We still do the same. We feel like children again, and Mum looks young and happy at such moments. Speaker D. I have very happy childhood memories. We lived in the country, and now I often dream about our pretty house and our nice garden. 
Our parents spent lots of time with us, and we children could always ask them for help, advice, or just share our worries with them. Now I'm a student and live away from my family in a big city. I often feel lonely, and I wish my childhood years could come back for a while. Speaker E. When I was a child, we lived in the country, and I often helped my parents on the farm. It was hard work, but I enjoyed it because my father made it look like fun. We grew beans and sold them. Now the farm belongs to me and my brother, and it differs a lot from the farm of my childhood. For the most part, jobs are mechanized. We use computers to control the process of crop growing. Our children find it all interesting and make plans on how to make the farm even more efficient. Hi, Nick. What are you doing in school on Saturday afternoon? You should be somewhere else, enjoying your weekend. Hi, Mia. I wanted to ask you the same question. I've got some very important business here. We're arranging a party for the newcomers. Newcomers? Yes, there are four new students in our class this year. They are kind of shy, and we decided to give a special party for them to make them feel more at home here. It's a bit unusual for teenagers to support shy newcomers, but it's really cool. Good luck with that. Thanks. And what kind of a party do you want it to be? A fancy dress party? That's a brilliant idea. We were thinking about an ordinary party with music, chatting, dancing, some pizza and drinks. But your idea is great. When you have a mask on, you feel freer and much less shy, don't you? Well, yes, I think so. And when people are wearing masks. They pretend to be strangers, and the new people stop feeling like strangers in the situation. They make friends more easily. You are probably right. Good luck with it once again, and yes, you haven't told me anything about your holidays yet. I heard you were abroad. Yes, I was. I went to France for a couple of weeks to learn French, to a language school. Oh no. My parents and I went there as tourists. I'd never been to Paris before, though my grandmother comes from France. But we have no relatives left there now. Did you stay in a hotel? Yes, in the centre of Paris. It was a very convenient location, and we managed to see lots of interesting places in the city and around it. I see. And the rest of the summer? Oh, nothing special. Just routine. Didn't you go anywhere else apart from France? No, the seaside was out as the trip to Paris ate up a considerable part of the family budget. We only went to the country for barbecue parties three or four times. We weren't very lucky with the weather. Oh yes, the summer was rainy and really cold. The weather people kept saying that the unusually low temperatures would get higher in a week or so. But their promises never came true. No, they didn't, unfortunately. But never mind. That kind of weather gave me a chance to take up a new hobby. What is it? Knitting, photography, or collecting celebrity posters? None of them. You'll never guess. It's baking biscuits and making cakes. Oh, it sounds much more original than posters. And much tastier.